Hey guys, it's Miss T Lovely. Oh my gosh, I know it's my third video of the day, but um, I, this is something that's been on my mind for a long time, and I said I was gonna put it out there. You know, it's been a lot of different videos I've been seeing lately, and actually, this has been on my mind for a while. I think it's the best time to go ahead and put it out there. It's my first one, but before I get into that, um, I wanted to say thank you to um, everybody that reached out to to Jen, to play me, my sister. I know she's gonna tell y'all thank you, but I just we're just like this, so I feel like she's connected to me. But um, we are. I love her. I love her. I love her. I love, love her. You know I love you. Anyways, um, and yeah, and a special, 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 special thanks to Tom and Miss Chocolate Diva Twenty Nine. Man, first of all, Miss Chocolate Diva, your video was so close to mine, it was almost scary because I'm, I'm, I'm not even lying. When I first got back on YouTube, we had just got in the house, me and my hubby from grocery shopping at Trader Joe's for one day. But anyway, um, we had just got back in the house and I said, you know what, I'm gonna hop on YouTube, see, see what's going on. And I saw Jennifer's, um, her video and I went ahead and looked at this and I'm like, look at this, can you relate? And I was like, oh my gosh. And I hurried up and responded. And then I saw my messages and I was like, I'm looking at your video and I told you I was sitting there on and in and, and, and tears and just like to God be the glory ain't don't none of that belong to me everything that was in me that I speak that's all him that's all him that's all been allowed by what's been taught that's all been allowed been by relationship with him so I glorify him I'm filthy rags I don't get no credit on that and for those of you who know who the word you know what I mean by that anyway moving on and Tom <laughs> I so feel you. I so feel you too. Every time you, every just everything you said, I was like, man, I'm just. I need this video now, just to have it in my. Just, man. Some things you just. I, I, I get this all the time when people look at me, talk to me, I tell them certain things. I'll tell everybody my story. Like y'all know more about me than most people that know me for like few years. They have to learn over time. Y'all get it like raw. But anyway, um, I just, Tom, man, I just, I feel you so much. And I love you for, for that message. And I took it to me for heart, too. I took it to heart for myself, too. And you was on point. Everything you said, you was on point. And it took me a while to even get to that point of realizing I had to do it for me. And even, even with my strong mind itself, in the sense that, I make up my mind about something, I'm going to do it. I was still wavered and I still probably, my, my situation was prolonged because I let other people affect how I felt. And that's, that's something in my later video, uh, my earlier videos. But at any rate, I thank you for it again. And you just, you the bomb.com. <laughs> oh no, I didn't say that. Yes, I did. It's already on here and I'm not going to start this video over. Anyway, now this is what I'm making this video for. The thank yous. And, um... Also, too, I want to start my own. Da, 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 I want to start my own tag video. I said, looking, I know I love y'all because I don't, I don't already came over here toe up a few times, and I don't car. I had put my hair back, and I just, I don't care. It's hot around here, and I put my coat on out of respect. So, uh, uh. Anyways. I want to do a tag game. Yes, I said T-A-G. I want to do my first tag game, Miss T Lovely. I was thinking about it um, some time ago, and I keep on, I kept forgetting to do it. So maybe God brought it to my remembrance for this purpose. It's time to do it now. I want to play this game, and it is simply, it's, it's simple. And it, I came up with it by one of the secret, by one of the things I'm going to tell you guys about me. And the, the, the name of the tag game is, tell me three things you don't know about me. Okay, and this is actually how I came up with this game. Um, it's, it's a well known one. Actually, it's not known. It wasn't known to me until this such a time. Um, for example, my first thing, three things, okay, that you don't know about Miss T. Lovely. First of all, I've been working, working, literally working, physically, you know, making money um, since I was the tender age of 13 years old. I had my first job in pretty much working for a major security company under the table. Um, 
a lady I remember telling her a little bit about what was going on in my household and she felt moved to give me a job personally and teach me about money and she even took taxes out it was so funny <laughs> to this day I'm like wow I just I really appreciated that so at 13 years old I had my first job and I've been working for a total of 13 years and um, my last job um, I worked for the government I worked for um, the military DCFS um, not, not DCFS maybe that's that's the future that's what I want to do so I'm speaking into existence but anyway um, Uh, I work with kids. I work for, um, I can't think of the name. It's an MWR. MWR is through their facility because they did everything. It's all military. And I uh, worked at a facility working with kids. And I love my kids. I loved all 30 some out of them. And they love me right back. And um, I remember just sitting around and thinking about that with the kids I said um, let's play a game I said tell me something that you don't know and um, I don't know if I had heard it previously but it was just on my mind to play with my kids and the things I learned from these kids and from my fellow staff was amazing so I want to know some more about you guys tell me three things that you don't know about me and I want to know those three things I want to know yeah so do a response to this video or just you don't have to you know you know, response to Miss T. Lovely, or just do like a, you know, do your own, t you know, just continue to tag. Um, so what's another thing y'all don't know about me? Miss T. Lovely can play the drums. I have never had a lesson in my life. I remember our church needing a drummer, and I asked my daddy. I said, Daddy, can I play? And you know, being that we were we grew up in a household where we had to go to church Monday through Friday, and the only day we had free was Saturday, and you know Sunday we was up in the church again. So I was like, you know what? I gotta find something that's gonna make me happy. And I'm gonna tell you something, guys. I started getting on them drums, started beating those drums, and and, and somewhere along the lines, I was like, brruh, 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 brruh. I was playing so good to the point where I had guys, musicians, people that were inspiring as musicians asking me to teach them how to play and I couldn't teach them. I didn't know how to read a note or nothing like that. I, that's a God-given talent, raw. I play for my church now, believe it or not. And people just like, I have I have women coming up to me all the time like, you know what, girl, you know what I'm saying? For a woman to be playing drums, man, it's inspiring. Like, we just, women just doing stuff that people don't think it's like, it's like, it's a, it's a stigma gets it. It's like, it's like, you wouldn't think a woman would do that type of thing but yep I wear I have to wear longer skirts of course I can't be dressing all super cute like I would like to but that's gonna come so they gonna have to find another drummer on this plan but I wear my skirts real low real real low like to my ankles almost so I can like feel free to drum you know what I'm saying and I love playing drums and I can get it I can get it y'all I played so good to the point when I was little that I could play with broken sticks and still make a beat boo pal okay and last but not least, number three, this is gonna take a hard um not gonna be hard. What else y'all know about Miss T Lovely? So I can end this video. Come on. I'm I'm drawing a blank. Come on, mind. Okay. I'm so sorry. I am drawing a blank. Come on. I know that like come on too. Like what in the world? I am seriously at a loss, you guys. I am so sorry for this. That was like 20 seconds of just being at a loss, and I'm stalling because I can't. <laughs> um. Um, one last thing that you guys don't know about T Misty Lovely is, hmm, I've told you guys so much, like so much. Oh, I'm currently studying further to um, further my degree in sociology because I ultimately would like to be a social worker. My ultimate dream is to open up a group home for less fortunate children where, um, because I too 
for a year, and I can be honest about this because it's in my past. I I went had to go through the system for one year of my life um, due to abuse and neglect, etc., by my father. And I'm putting it out there because I don't you know, put that out there. Um, but ultimately, I want to help kids not be the dollar. I want to help them become productive individuals because I I am a product. I am I am a product of what you can can become if you persevere and if you have you know if you're persistent and if you have drive. For some reason, no matter what happened to me growing up, I yet and still wanted more, and I I I I I, I charge it to God. I don't give that that credit to me because I could have been just like my family. I could be just like my sisters. Lord bless them. Um, I could be just like them. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. I did have my time. Still do have my times of hurting because of past tense things. However, I don't let them keep me down on a daily. I make a choice. And I made a choice to make my life what it is. And I'm so very happy. So I want to do the same thing for these kids out there in a the system that people get and they label them and they say you know what <laughs> I got me some foster kids you know what I'm saying I'm about to about to make about nine hundred dollars per head thousand G whatever per head no I want to take that money and invest in them and let them know that I love you because you're you not because of the money that you bring in my pockets because that is going to be a separate home from wherever I am because I know the ins and out about it um, about what can occur kind of bringing it to your home but I do want to ultimately be a foster mother along with my kids it's just you know God allows certain things I didn't understand that as a kid why it happened to me why I had to go through it and why I felt like I was for a minute a just a dollar bill I lived in I even lived in a um and here's a fourth thing for you guys I lived in a mansion a partial mansion where I had a yeah believe it or not I had a maid we had a cook and um, it didn't matter to me because it was just four walls it was a two-story house very huge I remember they were both the refrigerator um, and that's probably TMI for some people, but you know, I'm just being real. So, um, I'm gonna end it here because it's 1244 and if you watch, so if you have watched this video and you are at the end, you have been tagged. You must do a video for Miss T Lovely. Um, and to keep this going, because I, I just want to see, I want to learn some more things about you guys, you know. And um, I love you. So, and it's time for a little bit of fun. Let's get some fun going on. I've been mad because I don't have my like little radio. I could have did some music at the end of this video. Love y'all. Peace, love, and kisses. I want to see them videos. Please.